Dude, what is that? What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. A beautiful summer's day out here in Los Angeles. It is officially summer as of a couple days ago. The heat is here. It was very hot up by my house. I'm down here. It's actually pretty cool, but it's very windy. So uh, that's what we're going to be dealing with today. BMX day. I couldn't figure out what bike to ride. So I just went with the solution that was already in my SUV. Going to do a little bit of downtown action though. It's been a while since we just rode actual central downtown LA. So that's going to be kind of the agenda for today. Check out some areas around there. Maybe make it down to Skid Row. I'm not really sure exactly where we're going to end up but uh stay tuned uh, as always if you guys want to see the full footage of everything i film make sure you check out the second channel first link in the description strap up bike ride and bmx action downtown la here we go damn every time i come through here this is just it gets it, it more expensive looks like someone got up over here recently gangs came and uh claimed the underpasses that's just sad also they put up a new fence here last time i came in here you guys remember i went through here looks like it's pretty well sealed off now they also got barbed wire you know what i did not know Apparently, if you put barbed wire on your own property in Los Angeles, it counts as booby trapping. So you can't put it up yourself. You have to have like uh, your house or wherever the property is that you're trying to barbed wire. It has to be zoned in a specific way from what I understand. And that's the only way you can put up barbed wire. So say you live somewhere where you're just getting broken into over and over. If you put out barbed wire and then you have an intruder who hurts himself on that barbed wire, they can sue you and most likely easily win because you're not supposed to put barbed wire up. That's news to me. Let me know in the comments if you guys uh, have any thoughts about that. I thought it was pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, but the underpasses out here are just, uh, wow. I can't believe what's going on with them. Every single underpass almost in LA is basically um it's like a camp i don't it's definitely been going on for a minute i remember noticing it big time as of a couple years ago we got a line just line for it i don't know looks like a probably like a concert something like that well it's super long now Crazy. I think uh must be like a movie premiere. Everything is closed off. Gotta be a movie premiere or something. You can't see everything I see on the GoPro, but uh there's a lot of armed people. There's <laughs> a lot of people with guns back there that were just out of frame. So I'm assuming it's like something where famous people are showing up. I don't know. I'm just a bike rider. Anyways, downtown, I'm gonna start uh Riding around. Oh, what if I could money off this? I don't know if I got him like that yet. <laughs> Still working on him. LA Live is packed, or was packed, kind of. We're gonna spin around, check out Staples Center, see if there's any riders. It's so windy, it's just like, uncomfortably windy out here also pretty ducks dang they got all the staples center closed off what's going on definitely some type of uh it's a big event usually this is the area where you catch riders Go ahead and keep it moving straight past. Sidewalk surfing. All right, well, off we go. Sides and sounds of downtown. So here's how we're gonna attack today. We're gonna do a couple rounds on the outside edges. Kind of like where we are right now, basically. We're uh, on the perimeter of downtown. We're gonna slowly make our way to the center and then uh, that's, and we're gonna figure it out from there. I don't know. <laughs> yes. That's as far ahead as I can plan. Scooter surfer. Look at all these scooters. Oh my goodness. They're taking over. Dude, that's the most I think I've ever seen in one place. <laughs> For sure. That was like, that was an insane amount of scooters. This part of town is kind of like uh, where you'd want to hop on one to get to the middle so i guess it kind of makes sense that there's a bunch right off to a great start in downtown we're gonna keep uh, heading around the edges for now 
until we uh, start making our way in. If we go in from here, it's like nothing to see. So a bunch of bike riders up ahead. They're going to the Staples Center. There's an event going on today called, uh, I don't remember what it's called actually. There's some type of event today. I forget the name of it, but it's for like uh, for kids who ride and do wheelies and stuff. So anyways, we got super sidetracked. I don't know how we ended up over here. Off to a kind of a slow start. Oh, that's a nice ledge. Got to get to, uh, I guess from here, we can kind of just head inward. Hey, do you have a lighter? No, sorry. Do not have a lighter. Anyways. Oh my God, so many flies, bro. What's up with the freaking flies? Sheesh. All right, well, downtown LA, you know, it's, uh, it's off to a semi-slow start as downtown usually is. It's just not a lot going on out here unless you're uh when you're still on the outside borders of it it's like it's very slow pace you got to get moving inside the the center of it before things get interesting so i think from here we're just gonna start diving in we're gonna go uh eastbound right here on hill street and see what's going on I'm just basically commuting right now <laughs> i might as well be delivering packages by how aimlessly i'm riding around getting a little bit closer to the uh inside of the city at least Downtown LA is just so weird. I remember every time I come out here to do a video, it reminds me why I don't come out here that often. It's such a bizarre place. Everyone's very hostile. Like at this point right now, I'd rather dive down to Skid Row and go right through there. It'd be more, I'd feel more in place than out here in downtown. I think I'm gonna do that actually. Let's do that. I was semi joking when I said that, but then I think about it. I think it's actually probably gonna be more fun to ride around there than here right now. Hit a little bit of sidewalk surfing. Vroom. Last time I rode through here, I saw a guy like walk. He was just walking. And then out of nowhere, he just fell face first and hit his face on the ground. So uh, that's what I saw last time I came through this street right here. And uh, yeah, anyways, oh, the road's closed. We got barriers. Can't get enough of those. And we got an alley, why not, right? Went in downtown. try and hop as much of the urine on the ground as possible. Uh huh. Looks like they got a meetup spot. Found the meetup spot though. So <laughs> hey, take a guess what they're meeting up for. Whoa. Talk about a close call. Good thing my bike doesn't have brakes or I would have uh, been able to stop. Easy. Bro, speeding. I'm scared. Take me home. You guys wonder why I ride on the sidewalk. People driving like that. Come on. Why would I ever bother? We got a red light. Oh no. All bad. Out here in LA, they expect you to run a red light basically all the time. So when one light turns red, they all stay red for like three seconds. So you have time to keep making it through if you're stuck in the intersection because out here, like nobody's looking at the road, everyone's staring at their phone or they're actually in an extreme rush. So if you're stuck in the intersection, pretty good chance you'll get run over. So they started changing the lights to where when this one goes red, this one doesn't immediately go green. They both stay red for a bit. After about three seconds, you can proceed. Nice little downhill run though. See, look, we get away from the city and we automatically start having more fun. What the hell? Look at that car. It's completely missing a door. Okay. we're. We're out here. We're out here. Yeah, don't look at me. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, we're going to do our monthly uh, skid row ride through. Like I said before, I used to ride through skid row every single day, every day, sometimes twice a day. So it's nothing really that shocking to me, but uh, you know, stay tuned if you haven't seen before. Anyways, off we go. First thing I hear is a lot of people calling out once they see me rolling through. That's not out of the ordinary though. Uh, this is like the social security building or something up here on the right. That's why people are lined up outside of it. Well, I think we're just going to cut through this way. All right, on the sidewalk, we're going to try and pop into the street here. Hello. That 
was uh yeah i don't know what we just saw there but uh it's gonna keep going okay we got a couple of routes right here we're gonna check out first off right here this is the way we came by uh not too long ago and we cut through right here <coughs> oh man the smell is crazy right here this is a flower building so uh dude what is that that's paint i thought that was blood i was like damn somebody got shot right here and just left <laughs> i mean honestly wouldn't surprise me out here in downtown <laughs> it genuinely would not surprise me no man's land la people this is uh this is the skid skid row right next to so many things in downtown though it's kind of like the flower district is one block away actual downtown is one block away i used to live out here like for for christ's sakes i used to live in skid row and i don't mean like on the street but the the u room anyone who's been watching for a while that name will ring a bell the u room was literally in skid row that's why it was such a good deal for a 1400 square foot apartment 2800 bucks a month it was in skid row that's see cats out of the back that's how i was able to, to pull that one off I'm, I'm a completely changed man from back when i used to live out here in downtown i just uh anyways what's going on here like i mentioned before it's kind of crazy how all this stuff closes so soon this is probably the only store you're going to find open uh in the entire area right here it looks like some type of party supply store as you can see everything all up and down the street closed already already closed the only people we're probably going to see coming down this street maybe police nobody's coming down here besides me at this time and it's only five it's 5 p.m all these clothes these stores have been closed for probably an hour or two already honestly yeah <laughs> it's crazy this is the flower market where you come to get cheap flowers one block over past 7th street we're back in skid row so that should explain to you why uh you know everything's already closed that car's on a flat tire it's not going anywhere it's got a parking ticket probably does not care <laughs> something i used to notice back when i lived here at least i think what was going on was people would just ditch their cars I don't know if sometimes they're stolen or or they just didn't want the car anymore but a lot of times if you didn't want your car you just park it somewhere in downtown and it just disappears i'm sure if it was registered to you that'd be a problem but uh i don't know anyways we're gonna dive back through the skid to get to the other side we're gonna go to little tokyo from here and uh check out that part of town so stay tuned i would love to manual this let's see if i got manuals Oh God, oh my God. Oh, oh, I still got it, I still got it. Oh, please, almost there. Let's go. Beautiful. All right, we got a couple of routes we could take through here. We could go back up to San Pedro Street or we could take this street right here, which is insane. I don't think, uh, yeah, this street, uh, it's not looking like the move right now, to be honest. Stop fighting, come on with A. Homie is turned up, he's yelling at me. Anyways, off we go. Kind of on the edge of Skid Row here. This is Skid Row on the left, Flower District on the right. Isn't that crazy? That's just, that's how this part of town is set up. Looking for the right street to go down right here. None of them uh, coming out. Oh man, we got a loose pup. Hopefully he's friendly. Oh man, <laughs> he was cool. As we're cruising through Skid Row, we're gonna bang this left on Stanford. Seems to be a pretty chill street. That's a pretty high-end apartment right here in the middle of Skid Row. Kind of wild. Ow! Damn it, I just need my stem. The thing about uh, the area out here is it's like it's um it's a bunch of blocks categorized. You know, and some are bad and some are not that bad. It's basically like uh there's definitely a hierarchy on this part of town as far as where who gets to stay where. I'm not gonna get into that. There's tons of videos on YouTube that explain the uh you know the rulings of skid row so to speak but uh, we're already pretty much out of it so there's that all right off we go left on gladys pretty much the last street in the area of skid row you could say is kind of inhabited just people you know trying to survive so it is what it is out here it's kind of what you see out here it's people just trying to survive camps tents regular 
I mean, this stuff you see everywhere in LA now. It's not even, it used to be like, this was only some stuff you could come to Skid Row and, and see if you're curious or, or, you know, for any reason. I don't know why you'd want to come and see it, but that's my job to show you guys on uh, the YouTube. Anyways, from here, we're going to cruise up this street. This is the street that I used to pedal up every day when I would work in, uh, in downtown. I would come up this street right here. This same route. Right now, the main thing you smell is like spray paint. That's what I'm smelling. And uh, that's about it. Not really much of else, anything else. But yeah, so this is the street I would jam up from exactly where I just started all the way up past San Pedro Street. Look at that grindable thing. Kind of wild. And uh, yeah. Everybody's got eyes on you out here. I know I'm being looked at by just about everyone in here, but you know, I'm just riding through. That park has always been turned up since the beginning of time. That shit is crazy right there. This is the intersection right here where some guy tried to rob me six years ago when I was coming through here at midnight like an idiot with a gigantic camera. Fun times. I used to be so oblivious, man. I'd go ride around everywhere with that gigantic DSLR with a gorilla pod attached to it. Basically a walking lick, <laughs> to say the least. Had no muscle on me, no nothing. Surprised I made it through all that time. Bunny hop the mystery liquid. All right, well, there's a, a thorough skid row ride for you guys today. It's the most thorough one I've done in a long time, actually. So <laughs> there's that. So now. Gonna try and squeeze through. Go up the hill. Now we're in downtown again. Whew. Talk about a route. That was uh, that was pretty hectic. Anytime you ride through Skid Row, it's pretty hectic, honestly. Riding through lots of uh, mystery things, mystery liquids, things on the ground. You always got. <laughs> I'm always cautious of people coming up from behind me that I can hear. Holding this GoPro, they could easily snatch it out of my hand. Or, I mean, that's pretty much it. Sneak me, take me off my bike, I don't know. I don't know, anyways. Uh, we're back in the city, so let's make the most of it. Lots going on out here. We're going to make our way to Pershing Square and try and actually hit some tricks real quick. We definitely did a fair share of uh, touring, you know, so <laughs> we definitely got our sights and sounds in for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. And uh, from here, oh shit, we're stuck. Oh, we're good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go up to uh, good old Pershing Square and see what's going on. I definitely wanna do that same route I did on the Suron very soon, but. You do not uh, have to take them dot all the way like that. Not yet. Anyways, I'm trying to get off the sidewalk. Nothing but sketchiness right here. Let's see if we can get around. What? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Man, downtown is so effed up. I will never move back here. Ever. It's like a shot out of GTA 5 right here, huh? Look, Pershing Square is blocked off. Everything I wanted to check out today is closed. All right, well, no 
Staples Center or, oh my God, uh, or Pershing Square. We're just getting shut down left and right. Last video I'll film in downtown for a while. This place, oh wait, no, it's open. We gotta go up some stairs. Pretty closed. Not close enough to stop me. Well, I mean, I guess it kind of is because I wasn't able to do anything besides that. And I wanted to actually ride here for a bit. Alrighty, what if I just bunny hopped up? I don't know. Oh God. Close encounters. Your brain has to think quick to make uh, the moves to get around out here. So many people that all move so unpredictably. You gotta be awake. Okay. From here, we go right. I'm just gonna follow traffic for a second. Oh, look at this, look at this little mini truck. Sick, with a Subaru. Fire, I just love mini trucks. A little slam Tacoma. They're so funny. Damn, he is bumper to bumper. With the WRX, clean. Right off we go. Scooter gang. Bro is just selling clothes on a curb. That's hey man, get it how you live out here. I'm not mad at it. Get it how you live. Oh god, bus. We out. Off we go. Nice little random sporadic ride through LA. Things got hectic out of nowhere. Once you go to Skid Row, it's pretty much guaranteed that uh, things are gonna get wild and a little bit weird, to say the least. I really wanted to come out here in my Suron today. Definitely think uh, next video is gonna be a Suron video. By the way, I have a very special announcement for you guys very soon. I think you're gonna be very excited about, to say the least. Involving a Suron, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. Make sure you do not answer any comments in the YouTube section or anywhere else. I'm talking about getting a free anything for me. I'm not gonna give you any, I don't, if you, I don't have any giveaways going right now at the time of me filming this, but if I do, I will not be reaching out to you in a YouTube comment. So just uh, keep that in mind. Anyways, I'm gonna go up the street and uh, bend the corners. Alley Cruz? Why not, huh? Look, we got a ledge. The alley's bless us for today. Hey, you can't beat a free ledge. And we got some cones. Shall we hop one? All right, we have got to make our way back in this intense sun. I took the hat off. It is, I think the hat generates more heat on my brain. It makes me sweaty. And then that gets in my eyes and then I can't see. Look at bro, mobbing. <laughs> That's what I like to see right there. Bro is moving. All righty. Just silently cruising right now as we go back to uh, where we started. Oh man, I can't get through. Maybe through here. 
box of zero. Talk about handles, huh? I got them. Look at this truck. This thing is insane. It's got spikes. <laughs> Bro, has got spikes on the wide body. And it's a dually. Fire day out here riding BMX. If you guys watch this whole video, make sure you comment down below. Let me know if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Peace.